Bowels Movement 08. Bring you all another video. Alright. Um, college football officially started last Saturday. But the FBS starts tomorrow, <laughs> Thursday. Um, I was going to break down uh, a couple things that, uh, you know, like the best players in the nation or like the best defenders and all that. So uh, I was going to give people my top 10 teams going into the season, uh, the top five Heisman candidates, and uh, the best players and um, the best defenders. So, so yeah, so let me get to it. Um, so I'm gonna just put it all in, in, in like one video because I, I was gonna you know break them up, but this is gonna be my college football preview, right? Bowls number 08 college football preview, right? Uh, my uh, the best defenders. Um, I wrote down a couple defenders. Um, some people know, some people don't. So I was gonna break them down. Um, Vernon Hargraves the third, um, Junior Corner. Florida <clears throat> shut down corner. So he the next uh next um best defensive back coming from, from Florida. Um he will be a top pick next year draft because he's coming out early. Um Joey Bosa from um Ohio State. Uh very, very good defensive end. Uh he's suspended for that uh, Virginia Tech game. Um he's a very good player. Uh, he's the best player on their defense. Um, Sean Oakman, senior, University of Baylor, uh, 6'9", 240, 245 pounds, whatever he is. That boy is built. Um, he's one of the best defenders in the nation, period. Um, so, yeah, so that's my, um, you know, that's my first three. I got my man Robert Kandishi. Ken from um, Ole Miss, defensive tackle slash defensive end. Um, junior, he's gonna be a top pick next year in the draft. Um, Eric Eric Stryker, Oklahoma, outside linebacker. Very, very good pass rusher. Miles Jack, inside linebacker, outside linebacker, full back, uh, long snapper, he do anything. For uh, UCLA, Scooby Wright, Arizona linebacker, Kendall Fuller, a shutdown corner from, from Vitek. You know they've been putting out a lot of good corners over the last last 10, 15 years out of Vitek, and uh, Kendall Fuller is the latest, so he'll be um, first round pick next year. Uh, his brother Kyle was picked uh, last year. Um, Jalen Ramsey, Florida State. Um, he plays corner, safety, he do all that. Um, and uh, Carl Dosa from West Virginia. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm missing a whole lot of defensive players. But um those are the guys that I put on my list that uh that uh, people should look you know, that people should look forward to seeing this this year and uh, next year too, when they go to the NFL. Um the top players in the uh in the nation, uh yeah. Ezekiel Elliott, um, Christian Hackenberg, is he the best quarterback uh, prospect in a, in a, uh, since Andrew Luck? Um, Derrick Henry, Alabama. Um, Nick Chubb, Georgia. Um, Dory Jackson, man, I could go on and on. Treadwell from um, Ole Miss. Uh, Sterling Shepard, Oklahoma. Um, it's a lot of impact players, man, out here in uh, college football. So I'm gonna look forward to seeing everybody this year. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to watch as, as many games as possible, like I try to do every year. But I can't watch them all, so so but I try to keep up with the ones that be on TV. So um, got a couple of things that uh, might question marks, like. Uh, Everett Golston, I'm gonna see how he played with Florida State. Um, you know, he um transferred from from uh from uh, the Fire Irish in Notre Dame. Um 
we got to see how he played, man. Um, you know, they say it's a pro-style offense at Florida State. That's why James was so good in the offense. Um, you know, ever he's like a spread him out. Uh, like he's like a spread quarterback. So we'll see how that go with him. Um, at Dory Jackson, USC. Um, all purpose. I'm gonna see how he played this year because they're gonna have him all over the field like they had last year. So I'm gonna see how he uh, do. Um, I don't see how the boy Vernon Adams do at uh, Oregon. Um, you know, he's a transfer coming in. And uh, we'll see how he do because, you know, he will be starting. So, um, it's a whole lot of question marks, man. You know, like around. I want to see how my man Deshaun Watson bounce back too, man, from uh, his torn ACL. You know, he had, he had torn ACL last year. So, I don't see how he play. Um... Yeah, the uh, my top five Heisman uh, candidates this year. Um, it ain't no order, so just you know, just oh, you know, um, that is gonna be my top five. Uh, I I got my man from LSU to run the back, Fournette, um, sophomore. Uh, he's gonna be a beast, man. Watch out for him. He, I mean. We're gonna miss some plays this year. You know what I'm saying any any uh be back there returning kicks. So you know he might he might make a whole lot of highlights this year. Um, Deshaun Watson, uh, Clemson. Um, I've seen their schedule. It don't look that terrible. They do play um, Florida State. Florida State coming to them. Um, the last time they went there, uh, James Winston let them fuck up. Back in 2013, so um, we'll see how Deshaun Watson plays, man. Um, yeah, he's my second Heisman candidate. Um, Ezekiel Elliott from Ohio State, running back. Uh, he had uh, 1,600 yards last year. Um, straight up beast. No, I think he had 1,800. Then. I know it was 18 or 1,600. Uh, Trayvon Boykin. TCU and Cody Kessler from USC. Um, that's my that's my dark horse, Cody uh, Cody Kessler. Um, got to see how, how all these guys perform this year, but uh, I don't have no um, I don't have the true finalists, but the, but like they're my top five that I'll be looking out for t- this year to see if they make that jump to the Heisman Trophy uh, talk. You know what I'm saying. Um, my top ten teams this year. I'm gonna go from ten to one. All right. Um, my number ten team is uh, Florida State. Uh, they still got a lot of talent on that team. Uh, they led by Jalen Ramsey, Everett Golson. They got a. They still got a good team, but they lost a lot of good players the last three years. You know? A lot of good ones. Um, so they're my number 10 team. My number 9 is Clemson. Um, I'm very excited to see Deshaun Watson in the full year. His uh, TD ratio, TD intercession ratio was 14 to 2 last year. Um, so we'll see how he performs, man, with a, uh, hopefully with a healthy name. Uh, number 8 is Auburn. We'll see how they perform. Got a very good recruiting class. Man, they've been doing okay the last couple of years. Uh, you know, after uh, Gene uh, Gene Chizik, he uh, you know he took them to the uh, title game they won. And then his next two years, he was just like real bad. So um, now they got Gus now, and you know Gus taking them over now. So uh, he been putting together some good classes, and they've been performing real well. So uh, number seven is Oregon. Uh, Vernon Adams over there. Um, the offense gonna click. The offense gonna score fifty. So you know, ain't depending on defense. Defense timed it. So they still got a good team over there in Oregon. Uh, number six, Michigan State. Uh, kind of cook. Um, they lost a running back, Langford. Um, but they still got a very, very good team. Defense is still good. So they'll be okay this year. Um, they did second best team in the uh, Big Ten, in uh, my opinion. Uh, number five is USC. 
Um, Cody Custler, one of my Heisman candidates. Um, a Dory Jackson. A Juju Smith. Like, they're going to be a team to watch out for. And um, I think they'll... And I think they'll beat out Oregon, and I think they'll be um, one of the top teams in the nation this year. But knowing them, they're going to lose that one game that they're supposed to win, and they do it every year, too. Uh, number four, Baylor. Uh, Bryce Petty left. Um, they got Seth Russell now. They still got a good coach, Art Browse. Um, offense is going to be clicking. Defense, Sean, Sean Oakman. I mean, they still got a squad, so... They're going to be there at the end of the year. Trust me on that one. Uh, number three, Alabama. Uh, Nick Saban. Um, they don't have a no quarterback, but they got like five uh, five-star quarterbacks. Uh, Derrick Henry. I don't know. Uh, their wide receivers are young. Uh, they're not ex um, as good as they've been the last couple of years. They've been real spoiled by Mark Cooper and uh, Julio Jones and shit, so... Hopefully, somebody will emerge and try to be that next guy. Um, their defense is, is crazy, man. Defense defense is amazing. Uh, their back four is going to be good this year. They, you know, they've been losing talent. They, I mean, they've been losing a lot of guys, but they reload every year. They reload in every year. Uh, number two, TCU. Um, I think they'll... Finish, oh, they'll finish second in Baylor this year. I think Baylor beat them out. Even though TCU, they were my number two team, I think they'll lose to Baylor. Um, and hopefully Oklahoma, but I don't know, man. I don't know about Oklahoma, though. Um, number one is Ohio State. Uh, they got the two headed monster at quarterback. Uh, they moved Braxton Miller over to wide receiver. Um, Ezekiel Elliott. He's a Heisman Trophy candidate. Defense led by Bosa and uh, Von Bell. Like, they got a very, very good team. Um, they lost a freshman wide receiver like last week or two weeks ago in practice. So, um, but, um, I, but I still got them being okay this year. And I think they'll be my number one team. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about the college football season. Um, you know, this is the best time of year for me, personally. So, um, you know, at one point I did love college more than pro, and I probably still do. So, you know, I had to break down, uh, you know, like the best things about the season, you know, the best defenders and teams, whatever. So, uh, the final four, uh, the playoffs. Um, I got four, like one team is like, um, my fault. Let me take that back. I got TCU being better. Excuse me. Um, and I think they'll. And I think they'll. These finish will. These one loss. And I think that will probably get them in um, to the final four. Um, my final four: are TCU, um, USC, Ohio State, and Clemson. Um, I really do like Clemson this year. I think Deshaun Watson is going to be one of the best players this year, period. Like, the top five player. Like, he has that much potential. And, like, and and I really think he'll make, I mean, like, he'll surprise a lot of people this year. You know, he's a bad boy, man. He's a bad boy. Um, got TCU, and then I think they'll beat Baylor. Um, excuse me for that, you know, for that mistake. Um, but I have them beating Beller. Um, let me see. Ohio State, they're coming out the Big Ten. They're gonna run the they gonna run the table. I mean they I mean their offense is gonna be too explosive. Like <coughs> I wanna see how they play against Virginia Tech uh, on, on Monday night. Because I know for a fact Virginia Tech always got good D. Their offense ain't never been great. But they got a good defense. So I, so I want to see how they perform. Because they struggled with them last year, too. You know, you know not, not not a lot of people are going to be talking about that. But they did beat them in Ohio State. Um, USC, um, I think they'll come under the pack 12. 
uh, let me see, USC, TCU, Ohio State, and Clemson. Um, but I think it, and the SEC team will come out. And because um, I think Bama's going to lose at least two times this year. That's how, like, I, I mean, like, they still got a good team. But, I, you know, I think they're going to lose at least twice. I think they lose these twice. So that's my top ten. I think my top ten player well, my top ten defenders, my uh Highland Trophy candidates, and my top ten teams coming into the season. I did a couple of question drawings, uh question marks that I uh wrote down. Oh yeah, I wanna see how good Christian Hackerberg gonna be this year. You know, I, I heard like a lot of talk about him. He will be like the next best Q B prospect. So we we'll see how he perform. Um and that's pretty much it. Uh, can't wait for the season to start. Uh, it starts tomorrow. Officially starts tomorrow for the S oh, for the FBS. Excuse me. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. So I uh, hope y'all like that little mini preview that I did. Um, I know I was over the place, but I just want to put it out there. You know what I'm saying and. Uh, See what people think. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, that's it. It's the boy Boss Moon 08 with the Cosmo Football Preview 2015. And I'm out. Deuces.